Hello friends, welcome back to Smart Study. In this video of simplifications, I am going to discuss 10 important simplification questions which are definitely be useful for your upcoming SPA clerk and SPA POS examination. So friends, as you know, in every bank examination, the simplification questions are compulsory questions which you come across and again, these questions are of high level nowadays. So I thought to make a video on this. So please pause the video while watching the video, try to solve the question by yourself, then continue watching the video. And one more thing, I may do all the steps, but then you know to do all the steps in the examination. So friends, you can skip some of the steps and you can do it. So without wasting time, let's get started. As you can see, the first question here is 9 divided by 2 into 27 divided by 9 whole divided by 18 divided by 7.5 into 5 divided by 4 is equal to question mark. See here friends, this equation can be again written as 9 divided by 2 into 27 divided by 9 whole divided by 18 divided by 7.5 into 5 divided by 4. See here friends, we can cancel out this 9 and 9. Again, when it comes to the denominator, see here friends, this is 5 and this is 7.5. We can directly consider this as, so we can cancel it out by 2.5 table. So 2.5 into 2 times is 5, 2.5 into 3 times is 7.5. So it is a very simple calculation. So therefore, we can cancel it by 2.5 table. So by 2 times and by 3 times. Again, we can cancel it out by 2 1 time. So 2, 2 times. Again, 2, 1 time. So 2, 9 times. So 9 divided by 3 is left out. So 3, 1 time. So 3, 3 times. So we, we have got only 3 in the denominator. When it comes to the numerator, it is 27 divided by 2. So in the numerator, we have got 27 divided by 2 whole divided by. So only 3 is left out in the denominator. Again, this can be written as 27 divided by 2 into 3. So 3 1 time, so 3 9 times. So 9 divided by 2 is the answer or otherwise you can take this as 4.5 or 4 1 by 2 would be the answer for this question. So the final answer for this question would be 4.5 or 4 1 by 2. Let's check out the next question. 23 into 15 minus 60 plus question mark divided by 31 is equal to 292. See here friends. Here, you, you are not supposed to do in this manner. So, 23 into 15. So, you are not supposed to multiply in this manner. So, this is correct, absolutely. But again, you don't have enough time in the examination to do all these things. So, 23 into 15. So, how can you do this? So, you either take 15 as 10 plus 5 or take 23 as 20 plus 3. Both are simple. So, 15 into 2 times is 30. So, 15 into 20 times is 300. In the same manner, 15 into 3 would be 45. So, 15 into 2, that is 15 into 20 is 300. 15 into 3 is 45. So, 300 plus 45 would be, 345 would be the multiplication of these two numbers. So, minus 60 plus x divided by 31 is equal to 292. So, 345 minus 60. So, 345 minus 60 is 285 would be the final outcome of these two values. So, plus x divided by 31 is equal to 292. So, x divided by 31 is equal to 292 minus 285. So, x is equal to, so 292 minus 285 would be 7. So, if you transfer this denominator part to the other side, this, this comes to the numerator. So, 7 into 31. So, x is equal to 7 into 3, that is 21, 7 into 3, 7 into 3 times is 21, that is 210. So, 7 into 1 time is 7. So, 210 plus 1, that is, two, sorry, that is 7. 210 plus 7 is 217 would be the final outcome for this question. So, your friends, you know to, you know to do all these steps. So, once you get the outcome as 345, you can subtract 60 out of 345. So, 60, 345 minus 60 would be 285. So, instantly you can transfer this 285 to the other side. So, 292 minus 285 would be 7. 
so if you i mean we have left with only 7 in the answer so 7 into 31 so the, you have to multiply only this value so you not to do all these steps which i have discussed here you can do only i mean you directly can come to this step uh, by simply uh, solving or using your discretion let's check out the next one here as the question here is under root 5 square into 14 minus 6 into 7 plus 4 to the power question mark is equal to 18. See here friends, as the value is within the root and we need to find out the value of this power. I mean that is 4 power. So because of this, this what I am going to do here is I am going to take square on both the sides. If I take square on both the sides, so this gets eliminated and this becomes 18 square. So therefore, the equation would finally be 5 square. So 5 square into 14 minus 6 into 7 plus 4 to the power x is equal to 18 square is 324. So 5 square is 25 into 14 minus 6 into 7 is 42 plus 4 to the power x is equal to 324. So 25 into 14 times. So 25 into 10 times is 250. 25 into 4 times is 100. So 250 plus 100 is 350. So 250 plus 100 is 350. So 350 minus 42. So 350 minus 42 would be 308. So 308 would be the sum of these two values. So if we transfer this 308 to the other side, this becomes 4 to the power x is equal to 324 minus 308. So 4 to the power x is equal to so 324 minus 308 would be equal to 16. So 4 to the power x is equal to 16 can be written as 4 square. So therefore 4 and 4 gets cancelled here. x is equal to 2 would be the answer. So the, ans the simplification is quite easy. And again you can skip this step as well. You can sk directly skip this step. You can directly can come to this step and solve it. So that is not a big deal. I am sure you can do it. So friends, it is quite an easy question. You can do it just in 20-25 uh, seconds, friends. Let's check out the next one. 4, four whole of 1 by 5 into 3 whole of 1 by 3 plus question mark is equal to 20% of 120. See here, friends, 20% of 120. 10% of 120 is 12. So 20% of 120 would be 24. So we have got 24 on the right hand side. So when it comes to the left hand side, see here friends, because it is a multiplication symbol, we can convert these mixed fractions into fractions. So that is 5 into 4 times, 5 into 4 is 20, 20 plus 1 would be 21 divided by 5 into, so 3 into 3 is 9, 9 plus 1 would be 10 divided by 3 plus x. So 3 1 time, so 3 7 times, so 5 1 time, so 5 2 times. So 7 into 2 is 14. So if you transfer this portion to the other side, 24 minus 14 would be 10. So the final answer would be 10 here. So I will do it once again. So 7 into 2 is 14 plus x is equal to 24. So x is equal to 24 minus 14. So x is equal to 10 would be the answer for this question. So simply if you transfer this portion to this side, so this becomes minus 14. So 24 minus 14 would be 10 is the answer. So let's check out the next question here. So root of 15 square into 12 divided by 9 minus 125 plus 21 is equal to question mark. So I take a common root here. So I take a common root 15 square. We know very well it is 225 into 12 divided by 9 minus 125 plus 21 is equal to x. So we can cancel out by 3 table. So 3 into 3 times. So 3 into 4 times. Again we can cancel it by 3 tables. So 3 1 time. So 3 7 times and 3 5 times. So 75 into 4. 75 into 4 is 300. So 300 minus 125 is so 300 minus 1, 125 is 175. So 175 plus 21 is 196. So root of 196 is equal to 14 is the answer. But then I will do it for your sake. So 75 into 4 is 300 minus 125 plus 
21 is equal to x. So, root of 300 minus 125 would be 175 plus 21 is equal to x. So, x is equal to, if you add these two values, 195 plus 1, 196, root of 196. So, x is equal to, root of 196 is equal to 14. So, the final answer here would be 14. So, the question is quite simple, friends. You have to, you, you are, I mean, soon, soon after this step, you can get the answer. But still, I have done this just for your sake. Let's check out the next question here. So, 0 0.64 to the, I mean, 0 0.64 to the power 4 divided by 0.512 to the power 3 into 0.8 to the power 4 is equal to 0.8 to the power question mark plus 3. See here, friends, because we need to find out the value of x, that is question mark here, so we need to find out the power here. So, because of that, it is 0.8 here. So, for that reason, we have to convert all these values as 0.8. So, this can be written as 0.64 can be written as so 0.8 square to the power 4 divided by so 512. So, 512 is 8 cube. So, therefore, we can take this as 0 0.8 cube to the power 3 into so 0 0.8 to the power 4 is equal to 0 0.8 to the power x plus 3. So, again 0 0.8. So, 2 into 4 is 8 divided by 0 0.8. 3 into 3 is 9 into 0 0.8 to the power 4 is equal to 0 0.8 x plus 3. So, we know very well a to the power m into n is it, I mean a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n in the same manner a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n would be the outcome here. So, see here friends 0 0.8. So, 0 0.8 to the power 8 minus 9. So, 8 minus 9 is 0 0.1. So, 0 0.8 to the power minus 1 into 0 0.8 to the power 4 is equal to 0 0.8 to the power x plus 3. So, 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 to the power minus 1 into 0 0.8 to the power 4 is equal to 0 0.8 to the power x plus 3. See here friends, so minus 1 into 4, that is minus 1 plus 4 is equal to 3 is equal to 0 0.8 to the power x plus 3. So, 0 0.8, 0 0.8 gets cancelled here. So, x plus 3 is equal to 3. So, x is equal to 3 minus 3. So, x is equal to 0 would be the answer here. So, see here friends, you are not supposed, you are not required to do all these step, all these steps. So, when you are doing here, so directly you can come to this step. So, after this step itself, you directly can come to this step. So, only two steps are required. So, let's check out the next question here. 5 into 7 percent of 34 into 55 plus 456.60 is equal to 699.1 plus 699.1 plus question mark. See here friends, we know very well 5 into 7 is equal to 35. So, 35 percent. So, we need to consider this as 35 percent. Therefore, 35 divided by 100 of is nothing but multiplication. So, into 34 into 55 plus 456.60 is equal to 699.1 plus x. So, we can cancel it out by its uh, 5 table friends. So, 5 7 times. So, 5 20 times. So, 5 4 times. 5 11 times. So, 2 I'm sorry, that is 2 2 times to 17 times. So, the left out part in the numerator, that is 7 into 17 into 11. So, 7 into 11 is 77. So, 77 into 17. So, 77, I mean, you directly can convert this as 20. 77, you directly can take this as 77 into 17 times or 77 into 20 minus 3 times. But then, I will do it in the, in the traditional way itself. 7 into 7 is 49. 9 gets 9 here. 4 gets carried forward. 7 7s are 49. 
plus 7 that is 56 plus 4 that is 60 0 6 here so 7 1 the 7 7 plus 6 is 13 so 13 0 9 so 13 0 9 divided by in the denominator part we have got 2 here so 2 plus 456.60 minus 699.1 is equal to x. So here friends, 2 1 time, so 2 6 5 4 point 5 times. So 654.5 times. So 654.5 plus 456.60 minus 699.1 is equal to x. See here friends, you directly can do this, 600 plus 400. So 600 plus 400 is 1000, 1000 plus 50 plus 50, so 1100, so 4 plus 6, so 1110, so 5.5 plus 0 0.6, 1 .1. .1. so 1111.1 minus 699.1 is equal to x. So you directly can subtract 700 out of this. So this one and this one gets cancelled. So you just simply subtract 700 that is 411. So because we have subtracted one extra, so we need to add it back. So x is equal to, so 412 would be the answer. I repeat the simplification here. 1111.1 minus 699.1. So see here friends, this point 0.1, this point 0.1 and gets, gets cancelled. So 1111 minus 700 is 300 plus 100 and in 111 that is 411. So because we have taken one extra, because we have subtracted one extra here, we have to add it back. So 411 plus 1 is 412. So the answer here would be 412. Let's check out the next one here. So root of 9 cube into root of 81 to the power 5 divided by 27 square is equal to 3. So see here friends, this root of 9 is nothing but 3. So this is equal to 3. So this is equal to 3 cube into, so root of 81 is equal to 9. So 9 to the power 5 divided by 27. 27 to the power 2 is equal to 3 to the power x. So 3 cube into 9 to the power 5. So 9 to the power 5 can be taken as 3 square. So 9 can be taken as 3 square. So if we are going to take this as 3 square to the power 5, so 2 into 5 times that is equal to 10. So 3 to the power 10 divided by, so again this can be taken as 3 cube. So if we are going to take this as 3 cube, 3 into 2 that is 3 into 2 is equal to 6. 3 to the power 6 is equal to 3 to the power x. So 3 plus 10. So because it is a multiplication, as the basis here, we can add these values directly. So 3 plus 10 is, 3 plus 10 is uh, 13, 13 minus 6 is equal to 7. So 3 to the power 7 is equal to 3 to the power x. So here 3 and 3 gets cancelled. So x is equal to 7 is the value. Let's check out the next question here. So 3 divided by 19 of 30% of 3420 is equal to question mark square into 2. So this equation can be written as 3 divided by 19 of is nothing but multiplication. So 30%, 30 divided by 100 of is nothing but multiplication once again into 3420. So see here friends, if we take this into 2 to this side, this becomes into 1 by 2 is equal to x square. So this 0, this 0 gets cancelled. Again this this 0 and this 0 gets cancelled. So we can cancel it out by 2 table. So 2 1 time. So 2 1 7 1 time. So again 19 times. So 19 1 time. 19 9 times. So x square is equal to 3 into 3 into 9. So x is square is equal to, so we know very well, 3 into 3 is 9. 9 into 9 is 81. So x is equal to, if we transfer this power to the other side, this becomes root of 81. So x is equal to 9 is the answer for this question. Let's check out the next one here. This is the last question. 
so 0.81 square divided by 0.729 cube into 0.9 square is equal to 0.9 to the power question mark minus 3 see here friends you simply can ignore as point 0 point is here common in all the cases you simply can ignore and solve it but then if you are comfortable in solving in the traditional method itself you can do you can go ahead so 0.81 can be taken as 9 square so that is 0 0.9 square to the power 2 divided by so we know very well 9 cube is equal to 729 so therefore 0 0.9 cube to the power 3 into so 0 0.9 square is equal to 0 0.9 to the power x minus 3 so 0 0.9 to the power 2 into 2 is 4 divided by 0 0.9 to the power 3 into 3 is 9 into 0 0.9 square is equal to 0 0.9 x minus 3 I mean to the power x minus 3 so here friends so as it is the division so 0.9 to the power 4 divided by 0.9 to the power 9 so therefore 4 minus 9 is minus 5 so minus 5 so 0 0.9 to the power minus 5 into 0 0.9 square is equal to 0 0.9 to the power x minus 3 so here friends 0 0.9 to the power minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3 is equal to 0 0.9 to the power x minus 3 so 0 0.9 0 0.9 gets cancelled here so x is equal to so x minus 3 is equal to minus 3 so x is equal to minus 3 if you transfer this minus 3 to the other side this becomes plus 3 so x is equal to minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 is the answer so these are the simplification questions which i wanted to discuss these are very easy questions you can do it and you can score 10 or 15 marks uh, how much i mean as the case may be in the examination so try to practice this kind of questions uh, before going for spa clerk and spa pos examination so in the next couple of days i will be discussing only simplification questions so that you get uh, uh, you get the correct knowledge of it so i hope you enjoy this session so before ending up this session, I request you to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share the video with your friends. And if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.